Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today at CB Actor Traveler, I'm making a guacamole salad that is so tasty that after you eat it, it makes you want to do this. What'd you say you did for a living? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Well, in that case, Matlock, this recipe was adapted from the Queen Ina Garden's guacamole salad recipe but with a couple of add-ons of my own. As you can see, very simple ingredients, just about everything you should be able to find at your local grocery store. Let's get started. All right, cutting in half a pint of grape tomatoes. You can use cherry tomatoes if you like, but making them bite-sized is key. Tomats first into the bowl. All right, next up is one chopped bell pepper. Now, Ina chose yellow for color, so guess what? I chose yellow for color. But you can use orange or green or red, whichever you like. Once again, chopping them up into bite sized pieces is key. I love the um, crunch that the bell peppers add. Ooh, looks like the colors of my alma mater. See? Fight on. All right, next up, <laughs> red onion and the jalapeno pepper. So you need a half a cup of your chopped red onion. Get it on in there. Two tablespoons of finely chopped jalapeno pepper. Now, Ina says that's two peppers, but when I went to the store, as you can see, the, this was, these were some big peppers. So I just used one, and I always make sure to take out the ribs and the seeds, because usually I'm not the only one eating it, so for a uh, little less spice one jalapeno pepper ribs and seeds seeds removed but if it was just me trust me uh two full peppers seeds ribs for show give it a stir all right uh one can of drained and rinsed black beans you know on second thought i would probably have only added half of that but full can is the recipe i added it in they're obviously great for fiber Great for texture. I happen to love black beans. Good southwestern, westerny. One of my faves. You notice I'm not stirring too hard. I want to stir gently because I want to break anything up. Zest of two limes, enough to make a teaspoon. In and stir. The juice now. So. I do one lime and one lemon. The reason being is because I've always made my guacamole with lemon and not lime. I love the taste of lime, but I just don't like overpowering lime, and I love the brightness of the juice. So I'm adding that one juice of lime, one juice of lemon, to a quarter cup of olive oil uh, with a uh, clove of garlic. That's the seasoning, salt, pepper, cumin, and uh, cayenne a little bit, a little couple of glugs of your favorite hot sauce, some honey, enough to make about a teaspoon for sweetness, optional. Give that a stir. Pour over your veggies. Gently stir to coat. So at this point, if you're taking it with you, which I usually do, I put it in a container and I take the avocado with me separately or the, both of the avocados, which is what the recipe calls for. But the whole point is, is that you want to serve it at room temperature and just before serving, you'll want to add the avocado to the salad. Gently stir, not to break up any of the avocados. There's plenty of lime juice and lemon juice in there. so. It'll keep the avos nice and green, and there you have. 
have it. Look at that. Creamy avocado, the crunch and the spice from the peppers, the umami from the dressing. It is vegan friendly without the chips. Perfect salad with the chips. I'm a goner. Goner. Or like on a fish taco or an English muffin. You see what my walk there. So once again, people, putting me in your will is thanks enough. <laughs> Thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. Once again, everybody, I hope you make this. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time.